Okay, there's strangers. It's time for another 2 p.m. PST Twitch stream. I'm your host, Strange Bro Jim, and today we're going to be getting back into Warframe. Now, uh, don't really have that much uh, planned out for today. Um, just planning on breaking some relics, trying to get some more. Um, prime artifacts before the switch because um, the change is gonna happen uh, let's see last week it was like seven days so I think there's like four more days before it switches over to the next um, vault um, switch over so um, So, for anybody that is currently watching right at this moment in time and you haven't gotten um, all of the Warframe parts and weapons associated with the Wukong Prime and Equinox Prime, now's the time. Um, because it's going to be, you know, uh, the next set is going to be released soon. Here, let me... Let me go to, um, um, let's see, um, uh, wait, where is it? There it is. I keep on forgetting <laughs> whereabouts. Hey there, Vinny. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing? How's your day been so far? All right. Hey, came to train or did you find something? Ah. Let's see right. So, no as you can see rates. from Just from here, life. Uh, I got essentially five days from now. They're going to be releasing the Vakir and Saren a pack. Now, um, in your own time. Now, Don't go let me let me verify this real quick. I'm doing great. Um, can't really complain too much. Um, oops. Okay. One second. Let me let me pull out my little Google Sheets to uh, see. Um, there's there's like one last part that I need. Uh, let's see. It's not Neo. It's Peter Prime handle. Uh, let's see. Uh, Living Maurice Bazaar. I just have that one part left, I believe. Messages have arrived in your inbox. Thank you. Uh, Tepedo Prime Handle. Okay, so, um, or did I already, oh, I already got it. Wait. Right, I did. That's right. Um, last week we, um, we searched, you know, we worked on gathering up, you know, we were able to break them all, so I didn't need to worry about, um, uh, collecting more of those. Okay, so, okay, so, to be honest, I don't necessarily need to worry about breaking relics the way I thought I was going to need to. Um... Hmm, which is interesting because, um, uh, how 
was I was thinking that I still needed to take care of a couple more things, but um, I guess what we could do is okay. Uh, first off, I don't know everything that I'm gonna need from the um, from next week's the switchover. Um, I could go out and get some more um, Aya because. Um, you know, I know that there's going to be some relics that I'm going to need to get. Um, but I think I'll hold off on that until next week. Um, because, I mean, if they're going to be doing the switching over from Wukong Prime and Equinox Prime, um, you know, that took pretty much close to 50 days or so um for you know another reset on the um on the primes coming out of the vault then i don't think i really need to worry too much about really stressing about getting relics um i will want to um get all the parts that I can from that particular collection because um well I mean there's there's one particular part in you know for example that I really want and that is the Serum Prime chassis. I haven't gotten that, I tried for it and all my attempts on getting that have pretty much failed the last time that um um that I was searching for it. So, you know, I just have this one relic left for the Saren Prime chassis and that's it. And I was like going, this is this is gonna be really tough on on getting it. Now, um, when, when next week rolls around, I'm hoping that, you know, there's gonna be some more Neo S13s to be, um, you know, to be dropped because, um, or, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that this is the, going to be the relic that they introduce, um, to be purchased by Aya because, um, you know, if, if I go into like a, a rad group and I say, okay, you know, I'm hunting for a Serum Prime chassis, Neo S13, but everybody else picks like some other relic, then I'm going to be kind of in trouble there because, you know, some people might want certain items from like the other relic. Like say, for example, um, you know, they released a Meso S2, for example. Well, I'm not going to be able to use the Neo <laughs> for for the Meso, you know. So it's it's going to be... It's going to be a little interesting, um, depending on what they release um, next week. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but um, so we'll go ahead and break some relics today. Um, let's see what else. Should what else should I do today? Um, let's see, Ash Prime Systems. Let me see. Do I have any relics for Ash Prime? Prime Systems. I do, but those are rare. Hmm. Veilbreaker? I mean, I could. I mean, I do need to take care of it. Um, let's see.
Let's see, one thing that I probably do want to do is tackle some of the uh, Cryotic. Because I need a ton of that. So maybe maybe we can do like a, um, a Cryotic grind as well. Yeah, I know. I see. <laughs> so, I mean, that might be an option, too. Um, okay, let's do it this way. Let's do Veilbreaker first. Then we'll do Crytek for a while, because that's going to be boring as all hell. You know, I'll, I know... Um, it's, it's not, it's not great. <laughs> it's not going to be fun content. I know. Um, I'm hoping that you will all join me in, in it, you know, keep me awake. Um, <laughs> uh, while I try to, uh, work on getting some critic, uh, which means that I'm going to be going to the earth and I'm just going to do round after round after round after round until you know, the enemy gets too strong and starts destroying all the cryotic machines. We'll, we'll run at that point. We'll come right on back and then we'll do it all over again. So, um, if anybody wants cryotic, feel free to join me because, um, you know, it's it's gonna be a grind, and any everybody can benefit off of it. I know. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a couple of you that are watching right now that are they're like going, oh yeah, Cryotech, I could use some of that. <laughs> so, um, so if that's something that interests you, let me know. Um, I'll I'll be happy to invite you into the squad. Um. I'm not going to do public because um, I don't want people, uh, you know, I want people that want to, like, stay for as long as they can doing it. So, um, but yeah, uh, let me go ahead and uh, change around my stream information here. Uh, we, no, we are no longer working on prime parts. Um, Let's see, we'll do update the title to Veilbreaker Cryotech and Relics. Oh my. Okay, so that should update on the stream side of things. Joe Chickenhead, let me quickly kill my lich, then I'll we'll hop in. Sounds good there, Joe Chickenhead. Sounds good. Uh, well, I mean, I, I still need to do the Veil Breaker. I don't know how long that's going to be, but... Uh, all right, I'm down for resources as soon as dinner gets done. No worries on that as well. Oh, a gift from Vinny. Happy Halloween. Okay, well, thank you there, Vinny. I appreciate it. What did you gift me there? Oh, that's okay, so. <laughs> Very nice there, Vinny. Very nice. I appreciate it. Happy Halloween as well. Um. Oh, for anybody that might be interested... Um, come four hours from now, I'm going to be stopping Warframe. I'm going to take an hour break so I can get some dinner in me and, and relax because after that, uh, around seven o'clock PST, uh, I'm going to do a Phasmophobia stream. Uh, now I've played a little bit of it, you know, um, uh, you know, it, it's, it does catch me with the jump scares from time to time, so um, I do appreciate the the scary and the scary uh, 
um, atmosphere that it does with that game. Um, so I'm going to be playing a little bit of that. Uh, I believe Blackheart is going to be joining me. Maybe. We'll see. Um, and if anybody else wants to get in on that as well, uh, there's there's going to be two spots open. So um, so just, just let me know if you're down for that as well. Good thing I has plenty of popcorn. <laughs> true, true. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and place your gift there. Let's see, place decoration. Let's see, Misa. There we go. Um, um, wait. Um, there's something wrong there. Um, okay. I mean, you know, um, you gave me a very interesting statue there, Vinny. <laughs> hey there, Blackheart. How you doing there, bud? Uh, we're going to be doing some crow tickets as soon as I get done with Veilbreaker. So if, you, if you're if you down on grinding out some crow tick, let me know. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and switch on over to my... Uh, my main, which I normally go with uh, Mesa on, on this one. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Don't have any secondaries. Let's see, do I have any primaries to grind? I do. We'll do that. Uh, let's see, melee weapons. Uh, let's see, and we do have some melee weapons to grind. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me make sure that my... Uh, yeah, there's there's not much in points that I can really do here. Um, so that's fine for now. Operator, you have remembered well how the Tenno arm Let's see. Um, not much else I can really do on these for right now. So, doing okay trying to download a game for a video, but it keeps getting corrupted, so I might have to go with plan B. Oof. Download a game for a video. Hmm. Odd that you're having some difficulties in that. Hmm. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, let me know if there's anything that I can do, but obviously that's that might be something that's uh. You know, I'm not quite sure exactly where you're downloading it from. Maybe, maybe Steam. Maybe I don't know. Um. Maybe a good Google search will help you <laughs> if it if it's giving you a proper error anyway. All right, um, let's go ahead and get started on this, shall we? Um, uh, daughter in Trotty gets more than she bargained for when she enlisted Tina to investigate a call for reinforcements aboard an armor. Rex. I'm probably butchering a lot of these names and stuff like that. Apologies on that, but okay, let's go.
It's an end game from itch.io. Hmm. Might have been poorly update, uh, uploaded. Maybe. Indie games can... I mean, sometimes indie games are really fantastic and well done. Other times... Maybe not so much. So... Okay. Your knight keeps saying Narmer isn't dead. Someone new is at the top. All she knows is a name. Hazul. Well, guess what, Tenno? I have a lead. I detected a dot code signal broadcast from inside a murex. It only says one thing over and over again. Need reinforcements. It's probably one of the freedom fighters Nora keeps talking about. If they made it into a murex, they have to know about Kazool. Come on, Tenno, say you'll help. Okay. Investigate the murex. Okay. Ah, we're, we're going to. On the demos. Okay. Looked promising and scary. Well, I mean, there there are some. Like I said, there there can be some very decent um, um, Whoa! The inside of a murex. Organic scaffolds. Node-based circulation. On a scale I never thought possible. The Medusa network means I'm scanner blind in here. Knock it out and I'll pinpoint the location of our messenger. Okay. And Narmer struck the system. I was ready to do something. Okay, looks like and we have to go down. But no, the family said we had to guard the heart of doom. I spent the entire war laying low in the Necrolisk, listening to Nora Knight talk about those Ow. brave few fighters who were out there doing exciting things. Not that was time. That was rude. Adapted to your advantage. Surprise them with something new. Hold on from that. One of the things about Mesa is the fact that, you know, she is definitely a glass cannon, but... Don't need that operational.
Yeah, I know I'm going the wrong way. But I want to see if there's like maybe something else that I can find here. Of course, I could be like going right into the head boss and not even aware of it. <laughs> or I could be heading towards the exit. Oh, ow, 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 ow. yep. Forgot about that. Hmm. You know what? Oh, ow, 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 ow. that go away <laughs> I'm hearing them, but I can't see them. Probably down below. Yeah, definitely below. One of the nice things about Mace's abilities, you can pretty much insta kill anyone that you that you really want to get rid of. <laughs> Hi there. Ah, damn it. Go away. <laughs> I really don't like those bombs that are on the side. Really wish you could kind of take care of them early. But. Hello. I think that's the central hub of the Medusa network. Without a scanner feed, you'll need to figure out how to disable it on your own. Right, well, first off, let's go on. Oh, hi there. Uh, 
Uh oh. Where is it? Oh, Jesus. Where did they go? I didn't see it. <sighs> Fuck. No way. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Ah, there it is. Hey, hey. That was irritating. Triangulating distress beacon. There. The signal originates from the other side of the murex. I hope they're not too frightened to talk. Oh no. Don't be afraid. We're here to call not afraid. Call need brothers. Queen said, "Blue girl." Uh, 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 that rat! Uh, uh, I can't believe I expected to find out who Fazul is. Uh, I'm an idiot. Call no Fazul. Excuse me. Call need gun. Find call gun. Call tell about Pazul. Uh, of course, of course. <laughs> Call was it? There. Marking a weapon signature. Uh, okay, so uh, if anybody remembers. You know, I when I was playing the uh, the uh, the war update, you know, we we basically uh, played a grenier. Um, might be the same one, actually. Uh, I can't remember. Um, you know, it it seemed. Well, I mean, it could be. Uh, I don't remember his name in in the war so i don't know um but um uh, when the when we were trying to fire the gun off though the the screen would shake a lot to the point where it was really hurting my eyes just trying to use the gun I'm hoping um, that either one, they reduce down the amount of shake on the gun, uh, on the gun, um, or um, 
maybe it's a different gun altogether, hopefully. Crossing fingers, but probably not. Um, but yeah, I'm... It, you know, it's the same one. Yeah, I kind of... I kind of figured, but, you know, wasn't 100% sure because they didn't, you know, they didn't show the, they didn't show him dying. So, not nearly as bad. I hope so. I hope so because last time I was really having a hard time trying to even um, play the game. Um, when I was, when I was in the war trying to use this guy so I had to basically stay strictly melee for the most part not that it's a bad thing per se but oh jeez ow Kind of bad. Still bad. I'll just have to stick with melee. Sorry, you know, for, for anybody that isn't aware, when I'm shooting the, off the gun, you can see that the screen is shaking here. And, um, you know, I've, I try to, um, you know, remove the screen shake. Let's see, where, where is it again? No motion blur. Um, where is it again? That. that was like under the interface here, but I'm not seeing it. Do you have access to a controller? I do, but I mean that's that's not gonna really affect the screen shake on on the screen though.
Where is it? I thought. Oh, there it is. Enable screen shake. So, I mean, I have it off. So, um, but it's the the problem is is that it's you know the um, you know the it's it's not like shaking all over the place, but it's still you still see that little. I mean, I'm not moving my mouse at all. I'm just holding down my. Um, I'm just holding down the mouse button. The fact that the screen is shaking so much, I my eyes, I just, uh, I can't, I can't handle that. My eyes can't, my eyes have a hard time trying to focus on it. It gives gives me a headache. So, um, so it's just gonna keep, you know, I'm just gonna stick with melee for the most part, there, folks. I'm sorry, but I mean that's that's just that's gonna have to be. Um, it's gonna suck because I really do not like using this weapon at all. Because you know I, I told it not to shake, but it still shakes. So um, I really don't like. Ugh, perfect. I really don't like that. So. Complex restraints. Get close. I'll use your signal to target a dissipation beam. Y'all know what to do. Stay down. Thankfully, they're they're not that strong against him, so it's not that so it's not that bad. I'm not like dying too badly. And if I really need to, I'll go ahead and use my gun, but like that. I, I really do kind of wish that I had my uh, Mesa, though. Oh god damn it. I have to shoot from long range. Oh, this is gonna suck. Thank you. Get out of there. Yep. Thank you. Alright. Brother, wake up. Call give orders now. Okay, um, command mode, G. Give command. Uh, move. Blow up debris, okay.
going to fit aboard my friend Xander. Get bigger ship. <laughs> Scans show what appears to be a Grenier drop ship, but it might not even be operational. Call make work. First, find all brothers. Oh, this is going to be fun. Know how, but you need to find a way across. Hmm. Call. One eight zero. Same tube. Brilliant pack. How hard could be? Hey, man, you get. You worry about the long range guy, I'll take care of the melee. <laughs> Like this, I really don't like this. <sighs> Blue girl need call in that spot. You did already. Hold tight, call. Just a little bit longer. Need to split up. Call go there. Brother go there. I'm hoping that this guy kind of stays. Go away. Oh, no, go back. Go there, damn it. Can't wait to be done with this. This is a very annoying mission, guys. Please tell me that he's actually there. I don't know if and I don't see the signal dropping at all. I'm hating this. I'm hating this. This is hurting my eyes. I don't like it. <sighs> Can we end this now, please? Go here! Fuck! Oh my god, that was annoying.
I'd rather get rid of it as uh, I, I'd rather get done with this as soon as I can because this is, uh, you know, and um, I'm gonna have to do the mission at some point. So it's it's not a matter of um, um, okay. It's 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 a matter of uh, you know I, I'm gonna have to fight through this because I don't I don't see Warframe changing that at all so I'd I'd rather um, this one's just a corpus <sighs> call know what Vale like nobody deserves. Okay, there we go. Where is everybody? Come on. Regroup. Huh. I just need to get at uh, I just need to finish this off. I mean I'll I'm I'm dealing with I'm dealing with it, but them have jetpacks which is nice appreciate it you're coming up on the volcor and of course it's held in place by a tether node i've devised an eight step plan to evade security and gain access step one no time blue girl call do Need to bomb it. Command brothers to bomb it. Okay. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Next one. Boom. 
brother. Okay. I am kind of thankful that I have some basically teammates there, you know, shooting everything, but oh boy. Oh no. Interesting. Okay, get the dropship. Sure. Find the problem with itch. It's region related. In some region, there have been reports of download issues. Some um, of to record Plan B. See you tonight for Phasma. Sounds good, there, Black Art. Good luck with plan B. <laughs> to shoot these guys for some reason. Um, my gun isn't hitting these guys at all. What the fuck? Yeah, because my gun isn't hitting them. There's no damage going on right there. What the fuck is going on here? What the hell was that all about? Was that another like scripted scenario where I couldn't shoot them, I couldn't kill them at all? If that was the case, then what gives, <laughs> why even give me that option? Just do some kind of cinematic shot or something like that. I wasn't able to, I wasn't shooting, you know, I wasn't damaging them at all. If that was supposed to be some kind of cinematic, they should have just done a cinematic and left it at that. Okay. That was frustrating to me. You know, the fact that I couldn't hit them at all. He was buying them time. I... <laughs> there was no damage. It made no sense to me whatsoever. I don't know. <sighs> Understandable there, Joe, but at the same time, they were point blank range to my gun. So they were running straight at me. So they were running into my projectiles. So, and even then, 
sometimes they give little indicators saying, you know, hey, this is where you need to shoot in order to hit these these fighters sometimes with the with the gun. So I don't know. That 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 was frustrating. Okay, okay moving on. Okay. Call that a fight. Okay, better gun. Okay, it has a certain amount of Yep. Get rid of that. That's your arc reading system. Call doesn't have them. Yeah. But it's it's still you know the fact that you know um, I was I was shooting them at point blank range. There was no visual sign of any kind of damage going on with it. So it was that was odd. So. Okay. At least this gun is a lot better than um, the Gatler, so there's not nearly as much shake on this one as the other. Go there. Let's go. Did any of them go? No, they didn't. God damn it. Okay. You guys stay there. Option to go back to Mesa. <laughs> Armor not hold. Spot. 
needed to get everybody to kind of regroup on me again. Told them to hold at that spot, so. I am thankful that, you know, um, Crawl has a lot of uh, HP and regeneration, so, I mean, it's, it's making this job a lot easier to handle. But still. Okay. Three brothers. There we go. Okay. Everybody to me. Run, everybody, run! Railjack, just up ahead. Tenno. Brothers trust Call. And Call trust you. Brothers, get in. Good thing there's no um, friendly fire. <laughs> Probably would have killed off my comrades a lot. <laughs> Apparently, we only picked up Call. None of the others joined him. <laughs> Please tell me it's done. Well, there's, they still kind of need to give me the name. Excellent work, Tenno. Call, this is Blue Girl. Did my friend get you all set up? Tenno is friend. Call, tell Blue Girl about Pazool. Body Be right back. Sounds good, there, Vinny. Worm. Head like animal. Dead worm. Is that all? What more to know? Want kill Pazul? Find brothers. Break veils. Kill Narmer. That what call do. Fine, I'm in. We'll get more done working together. Face it, that rat. You need me. Narmer make veils. Call and blue girl. Break them. Talk to Call. Okay. Uh, here we go. And... Yay! Back in my mesa. Hello. Who helped Grenier today? Not Queens, not Vayhek. Tenno and Blue Girl help brothers. Other brothers still have Veil. So call break. This camp little, but soon it get big. You see. Call not afraid. And now call not alone. Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, sorry about the if if I seemed a little agitated there folks 
my eyes really that the, that submachine gun really did a number on my eyes at this camp here Narmer take all call and brothers take all back call swear it it's okay that one screwed with me also just not the gun part mm. blue girl find Narmer worms call stomp Narmer worms Um, are these missions designed so that I'm taking call around call and working on these, or is this something that I'm doing with Mesa? Okay, I'm not touching it then. Um, I'm I'm gonna have to like contact i'll have to like contact warframe or something like that send send a, like a message to warframe saying hey guys i turned off shaky screen but the calls uh primary weapon is just still shaking it please stop <laughs> please please turn off the shakiness of it um because it's it it hurts my eyes and Blue I can't I can't deal with that so break. Good working with Tenno. um so as much as I would wouldn't mind trying to do some of those missions because apparently um Tenno, these I guess these you get some crystals out of these and that is helpful in some way um Good. I'm, my eyes are not going to be able to kind of handle that, so. Um. Narmer say Pazul want to make new forest. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. Orbis has been counting stars, operator. All accounted for. Archon sorties is different. You can use your frame. Okay, wait. Um, here, let's see. Let me, uh... Let's go back to the orbiter because I'm I'm a little bit more comfortable with that. The inbox has messages for the operator. Anything about orbis, you know? I heard you're going to start hunting archons. Now that sounds exciting. What if I told you that archon shards can be used to enhance your warframes? My brother has designed a new helmet segment for you. Build and install it, then give it to Give it a shard to work with and enjoy. Of course, you'll need to be speaking terms with your helmet in order to use this. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably should be spending a bit more time on demos. Uh, you know, what with Call doing the intel gathering on the ground, me running mission command, and you are ready to take on Archons. This team is energizing quite deliciously. Blue Girl, of course. Okay. Um, Call's mission is to get Chipper and his shop rewards. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, it looks like I have enough. Um, 
ingredients to build it. So in Ortis, operator, is that it's going to be 24 hours, so we're not going to be able to install it until next week, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, um, now that that's working right at this moment in time, we'll go ahead and move on to just do, doing some cryotech. Um, again, if anybody is interested in that, um, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see. What is a good one to have in terms of handling the cryotech without too much difficulties here. Um, I mean, I could, you know, um, Limbo is good in the sense that I can kind of protect the, the machine for a short amount of time, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be able to kill the stronger enemies later. It might be available to protect, but not necessarily uh, kill. Um, you know, Mace is good, but I mean, if I'm uh, if I'm surrounded by a lot, then that's that's going to be problematic. So. Uh, sometimes the shots don't, aren't always going to be with me at times. So this, this, while I love Mesa, it's I'm probably not going to be the best one for this one. Uh, Hydro Prime is good for like crowd control, but again, not not in terms of killing off the enemies fast. Uh, I'm ready to farm. Sounds good, there, Vinny. Um. I'm 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 thinking that I should probably have uh, something that allows for me to uh, you know be able to kind of focus on one area and still have things being attacked in others. So uh, I don't have Necros Prime, otherwise that would probably have been a good one to have. Um, Let's see, uh, Vauban is also good, but again, don't have the Prime, so I can't really, and uh, that's, both of those are going to be a little difficult to use in this particular case. Uh, Wukong became a problem of, ever since they nerfed him, but I mean, I can still use his clone, and he'll still be able to kind of move around a little bit to, to gather stuff up, so, I mean, that might be still and that might be fine and that might still be a good option anyway um i mean when we're um i mean the drops um you know do you know they last for a while they don't last forever but they do last a while so i mean potentially you know my it will get to a point where my my uh, we're not going to be able to kill nearly as much, so my clone will probably run out of ammo at some point. Um, but yeah, um, I'm I'm kind of leaning towards Wu Kong right at this moment in time. Um, could go with Atlas as well. I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards these four right at this moment in time. I just kind of want, I wish I had like Vauban or Necros Prime. So, what enemy type I can mod accordingly? Uh, well, I mean, it's the Earth, um, it's the Earth Cryotic, so, um, or earth extraction, let's see, excavation, so Grenier. So. Uh, 
Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Vaughn on this one uh, because you know not only can I set down Fletchets, which still does a fair amount of damage anyway. Um, you know, I can drop off these uh, Tesla Norvos um, that basically shock the enemies. So that's going to give a little bit more time, um, you know, killing off the enemies as well. So, um, you know, and if necessary, I can always put down the Bastille. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and go with this one. Let's see. Uh, let's see, corrosive. Corrosive is good for um, Grenier, so we're going to go ahead and keep with that. Cut down their armor quite a bit. All right, there we go. So, but we're gonna be going for Cryotic. And as much as I would love, f okay, so, um, you know, the, you know, as, as much as I would love to go to, like, one of the sectors that has, you know, like, um, you know, like Gabby, where, you know, you have the, uh, the bonus resource chance, that doesn't affect the cryotech, unfortunately. The cryotech just, you know, you, you get 100, and that's it. It, it doesn't, um, you don't get any like additional cryotic from it so i mean this this doesn't affect the this doesn't affect the extractors you don't get extra cryotic from this you just get the hundred and that's it i mean sure you get the resources that are here on earth you know the ferrite rerudo railroads and dead knight but I mean, that doesn't affect the extractors. I mean, I wish it did, but it doesn't. At least last I knew it doesn't. It only gives you the 100 every single time for the extractor, and that's it. Am I wrong about that? From what I understand, the resource drop chance does not affect um, the cryotic. And that's all I'm interested in is the cryotic. I don't really care about anything else, really. I mean, if you want me to, I can. we can go there. But... Oh, there's Joe Chickenhead. Welcome in. Well, let's let, okay. Let's let's do the to call first. Um you know, because I mean, if it if it does boost up that hundred, basically giving us 115 per extractor, then great. You know, uh, I would I would love that, but I I do believe that that's that's gonna not happen. 
to us. We're, we're only going to be getting 100 uh, crowd tech each time. So... It's only 100 on any mission. Yeah, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm uh, aware of. If they change that recently, then great. But um, that's something that a lot of people have kind of complained about in Warframe. How Cryotic is one of those resources that is really. I mean. It can be really easy to get if you're on Earth, but you know the fact that you don't, you know the the hundred that you get on Earth at Everest, for example, is the same as the hundred that you get on Eris. <laughs> you know, on on its extraction. So, or where was located at? Or maybe it's Pluto. But yeah. You get 200 if you have a resource booster. Yeah. I might be thinking of the other, other booster. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you have the if you have the booster going, then it 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 does help. So, but but if you don't have one, then you're you're just kind of stuck with the 100 per. So or whatever you can get, you know, in terms of the. Uh, Um, you know, if, if the uh, extractor gets destroyed, so. But if anybody else wants to come on in, now's the time. Um, Vinny, you want me to send you an invite? There you go. Anyone else up for some critic? Yeah, let's let's kind of stick with Everest. Uh, you know, the affinity, the resource drop, that doesn't really matter all that much to me. In my particular opinion, I just want the uh, critic. So, uh, okay. Do you, you know, um, uh, Joe and Vinny, do you want the resource drop chance and the affinity? If you do, then we'll go there. If you don't, doesn't really matter. Up to you. Doesn't matter to me. Okay, then let's just stick with Everest. We're, I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna set up to handle Grenier anyway, so let's just stick with them. Uh, last call for for anyone that wants to join. Oh. Damn it, I, f I forgot. I've been. I keep on showing off the fact that I have Stream Raiders and I'm not even running it. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, let me go ahead and get that running right now while. Uh, um, while we wait for. Um, you know, see if there's a fourth that wants to join us for some cryotic. So. Want a blessing before we start? 
um, I've seen a blessing from time to time, but I've, I haven't, you know, normally I get them like right at the very end of the stream, so I don't really see the benefits for it. So I'm not quite sure what, um, what blessing you're referring to and what I can add, but I mean, sure. I know that it lasts for a couple hours, so. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this chapter here. Okay, there we go. And uh, da 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 it's five assists from tanking. Okay, uh, let me let me switch this over to um, let me switch this over to raiders here real quick. Blessings will give you a booster affinity, for example, for three hours. Ah, uh, gotcha. Okay. Um. We'll go ahead and head there. Jedi, do you want to get in on this cryotech? Let's see. Okay, now that we're here. Let's see, I was looking at this before. We start off with this one. Start battle. And then we're gonna tank. Put that right there. So if anybody wants to join me on this, you know, feel free to, you know, always thank you for helping out when you, if you want to start placing your units down in stream raiders and we'll get started in 30 minutes. So I'm doing some subnautica stuff before wife gets home then going to a Halloween party. Sounds good there, Jedi. Sounds good. I was just checking to see if you wanted to join us on the cryotech or not. I know that it's one of those resources that a lot of folks need, so, or at least typically people need, so if anybody wants to uh, join in on that, now's the time. All right. There's Vinny. Finity blessing on you. Oh, okay. It, that, that thank you really doesn't stay for very long. I really kind of wish that it does. <laughs> you know, I really wish that it could kind of stay up there for... Like maybe like 10 seconds longer or something like that. So you can, you know, div give it like a proper thank you. Or at least, you know, if, if, you know, if you weren't on the, the, you know, if you weren't watching me on the stream or something like that, then it'd be like, you know, can't, can't really, they're not going to hear me <laughs> say thank you. So, okay. Um, and I believe, is it like just one blessing at a time or something like that, or? Uh, you know, I, I, I would just want to make sure that like, you know, uh, that that was it, right? We're, we're good to go? Or is, should I like wait for like something else to come? Or, you know, I don't necessarily want to leave early if you guys are thinking about doing something else, so.
The thank you doesn't really do anything. It's just more names across my screen. Each MR30 can do one blessing per day. Good to go. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, so that's that's what it's all about. So MR30s have the um, ability to bestow blessings. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Well, let's go then. I wasn't aware of that little detail. So mainly because I'm not MR30, so. <laughs> but I do appreciate that little, um, you know, benefit, you know, that they can kind of bestow, so. All right, uh, let's go ahead and invite you two back in. And there's one for you, one for you. And let's see. Um, Zephyr's my bay. No, I don't know if I haven't talked with them in a long time. So, hey, right. um, matter of fact, I don't even remember. Um, when I first talked with Zephyr, to be honest. Hmm. Oh, well. Um, I can't remember if it was like in game or if they were like in my chat or something like that. I can't remember. So if they, if they were on my stream, then, you know, Zephyr, if you're there, say hi. <laughs> You know, and if they want to join me in some cryotech. All right. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give like a five second countdown before we head off to Earth here. So, uh, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. And giving everybody the chance to say, hey, I want to join, I want to join. Oh, wait, I forgot to take it off public. Oh, well, I mean, if they go, they go. I mean, you know, but we'll, we'll just let them know that, hey, uh, we're going to be staying till for as long as we can, we can hold some cryotech, so. All right. We're here in search of lost artifacts and items buried deep below the surface. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. Tano, I am detecting a synthesis target. Oh, really? The synthesis scanner to trap the creature. All right. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. Okay. Drop those out. No. Let's see now. That way, huh? So you may perform the synthesis I require. An artifact has been located. Proceed there we go. to the dig site. Let's go on the offensive. The excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protect it from enemy fire. Right. Now that we uh now that I took care of that.
Dig complete. All right. Your hard work has just been rewarded. Extraction is now available. Okay. Let's see, next one over there, huh? Ah. Right. Off we go. Go. Excavation complete. Look what we found. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. Okay, you know what? I'll I'll go ahead and hold C. And uh We'll go ahead and kind of do like a swap out here. Okay. That one's done. Oh. All right. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protect it from enemy fire. It was right next to me. <laughs> oh, okay. You got that one? Sure. Grab. Oh, okay. We're already full over there. That's fine. See, I forget exactly which one I dropped off first. There it goes. We just uncovered. Many things have been taken from us. It's true. But fortune favors the bold. And there ain't none so bold as people with nothing to lose. Easy, easy. Like I said, this is probably going to be like one of the more boring portions of the stream slash... Uh, you know, video, if anybody's like catching this on YouTube later. Because we're just getting cryotic, and that's it. <laughs> okay. Joe's already got F already taken care of. I'm gonna see if where the next one pops up at. Oh, it's right here. Here we go. We'll just keep on doing this until it gets to the point where we're going to have a hard time trying to hold one. 
for the most part. So. An artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. You'd think they'd clone something a little less ugly. Excavation complete. Look what we found. <clears throat> I mean, we can always pull out, like, specters and stuff like that, too. So, I mean, that's... It's not like, you know, we're, we're going to be, like, really, you know, having too much difficulties, you know, at the very start, so... All right, that one's done. Your hard work has just been rewarded. Uh, grab the next con container so we can. Let's see, where is the next one going to be at? Oh, right over here. Nice. <laughs> okay. So ready to go, and put everything around. There we go. Yeah, I love Fletchets. <laughs> Go up high on this one. Excavation complete. Look what we found. Okay. Yeah, they're only level 5 right at this moment of time. We're still good. Okay. That one's done. Next. Excavator. gonna drop off at oh there it is way over there huh okay ballistics and archaic weapons crude and dangerous just like right near where uh Joe is there we go and we're already uh I should have one up here somewhere. Look what we just uncovered. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. There we go. That should work. Do, 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 
do 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 do. Uh, we're dealing with level eights now. Still not good enough to face us for the moment. <laughs> I think it'll probably be like, what, like 30 digs completed before they might offer some kind of challenge, maybe? <laughs> Excavation complete. Look what we found. All right. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. Complete. Your hard work has just oh. been rewarded. There we go. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. Just okay. There's that. Grab that. Oh, next one's over there. Gotcha. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. One's done. Got that. Oh, over there, huh? Okay, on my way. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protect it from enemy fire.
Okay, let's get some more of those Testos going on there. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. The grenades deteriorate over time. Is that what makes them violent? Dig complete. Your hard work has just been rewarded. We're, we're dealing with a few more Eximus, but not that it really matters all that much, but still. I'm pulling a little bit more out with the heavy guns. Or at least trying to. Done. Next one is over by Vinny and Joe again. Oh, wait. Go. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. And a lot of uh, canisters over here. Oh boy. I'm getting my ass handed to me right at the moment. What the heck was all these Xmas here? Ow. Wow, okay. Um Excavator destroyed. Protect the remaining dig sites. That was uh that was a lot of uh Xmas all at once. I think there was like Four more Xmas. Yeah, let's let's bring out a Spectre and try to try to do some more on that. Sorry about that. That was um that was quite a bit. Dig complete. Your hard work has just been rewarded. Okay. Boy, they really 
jumped in levels actually now that I now that I look at it they're at level 19 and he was what back in uh, uh, you know back when it was like 10 they were like what five that was a huge jump in levels They're really pulling out the big guns on this one, aren't they? <laughs> the scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protect it from enemy fire. There you go. still holding. Okay. Yeah, looks like I'm the only one that placed anything on Stream Raiders. I'm gonna wait until... Okay, throw you down there, throw you down there, throw you down there, I don't know why, that, that's a lot of extractors, <laughs> might as well grab these guys, and eh, grab this guy as well. Those Noxes, though. Ooh, I'm in trouble. That's one of the uh, things with, uh, you know. I mean, I was I was expecting to. Uh, let's see. Let's move on to the next one here. Excavator is 
ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. Pass that. Let me go ahead and power up your uh, excavator there, Vinny. Oh, come on, damn it. Die already. There we go. Oof. With the enemies getting stronger and stronger, it's a little bit harder for me to activate the, uh, you know, go to the stream raiders without dying. <laughs> These guys are tough. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. Okay. There we go. Moving on to the next one. Excavator deployed. Protect the oh boy. Extracts the artifact. An artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. You have no honor. Ready to go down. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. The 
scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. <laughs> so much going on right at the moment, it's like... We'll just have two over there and two over there. <laughs> Having a little bit of a harder time trying to kill off these uh, Eximus at 74 right at the moment. I don't know how well you two are doing. I'm, I would imagine that you guys are doing fine, but if you guys, if you guys are, you know, kind of struggling along with me, then maybe we should consider going. You know, if you feel like we should probably get going, go ahead and put down a waypoint or... I'm seeing no waypoint, so you guys look like you guys are good to go, so that's fine. Okay. We'll move on to the next one. I mean, I'm still able to take out, you know, the the non Xmas fairly well, but once they start going into the full-on Xmas mode, then. Oh, those Noxes, I swear they t take it out of me a lot. Flexions up there. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. I'm getting bombarded all over the place. Done. Next spot we go. If at any point in time you guys want to get out of here, just set down your waypoint and we'll. Yeah, then I'll know that you are kind of good to go. You guys are pretty much holding holding me aloft right at this moment in time. So as soon as you feel like you you're kind of having some difficulty, you know. Um, you know, you let me know, okay? You know, at least my fletchets are still doing a fair amount of work, but... Oof. Ran into that one. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protect it from enemy fire. Oh, damn it. Excavator destroyed. Protect the remaining dig sites. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I was kind of hoping that I could throw some up there so that I can kind of protect everything that was kind of falling down, but these guys are hitting like trucks right at this moment in time. Okay, um, I'm thinking that these guys are hitting like trucks and even we're going to have a hard time trying to keep them alive. So I'm thinking, yeah, sounds good there, Joe. Let's get out of here. Thank you, Davini. Appreciate it.
Let's see. 3,100 isn't too bad. Yay. And a little bit of change, but I mean, it happens. <laughs> Forty two minutes of non stop excavation. Okay, uh let me go ahead and uh do the stream raiders. So let me switch on over to that real quick. Get that going. I'll see you later, Joe. Thank you for joining me on that. Uh I'm just gonna throw a stronghold right here. Give myself a little bit more um, defense. Okay. Doing pretty well on this so far. And damn, outside the wrench. I didn't even notice that this guy was out there. Oh, he's he's not even doing any uh, barely any damage on me. I mean, I, I am a level tank and uh, uh, tank level 18, so I mean, <laughs> my tank has a lot of hit points on it. Fortunately, no one joined me, so no one gets any rewards out of that or extra rewards. So not much I can really do there. Um, wait, what? Get five assists from tanking. I got two assists, but yet on that last one, I thought I saw like, I got like four assists on there. Eh, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I mean, I technically I wasn't like assisting anyone really. Um, but okay, let's move on to the next one here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and once again throw in the tank. Hmm. Let's go ahead and throw him right there. There we go. So, if anybody wants to join, feel free to. I mean, I don't... It doesn't matter, you know, where you want to set your units in. And as always, thank you for helping out. Appreciate it. But that's where we're going to go. And, or that's what we're going to do for now. Uh, got 30 minutes for that. So if anybody wants to um, join in there, then that would be great. Um, let's see. Okay, so Joe needed to go, which is fine. Thank you for joining me on, on that one there, Joe. Uh, let's see. Uh, be right back. Gotta get her a movie. Just stitch me if you need to. No, no worries there, Vinny. I'm, I'm actually, uh, um, I can wait. So, not gonna stress about that. Um, you know, with the 3000 cryotic, that allows me to build a couple of things that are kind of looking for it. So... Uh, let's see, let me do the ready to build here. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Don't need Limbo Prime, don't need Mirage Prime, don't need Banshee Prime. Don't need Atlas Prime. Uh, Okay, I can do the Opticor. I don't really want to deal with the Revenant Vanya helmet there. Um, let's see. Um, Yeah, 
already have the Zephyr Prime, so I don't need to worry about that. Grab the Zaku systems. Need to get myself a few more gyro, uh, gyro mag systems for the chassis, and then I need to get the neuroptics for Zaku to to finish building him. Don't need Wukong Prime. Don't need Vault Prime. Valkyrie Prime has already been built. Trinity Prime, I'm missing systems. Okay, so that's that's one of the reasons why I've been kind of looking to get some more cryotic is the fact that, you know, like Trinity Prime here needs 9,000. <sighs> I mean, we did 31 extractors on, on that last run. Um, so, I mean, if we can do that each and every single time, then that would be fantastic. But, I mean, um, you know, my Vauban wasn't able to stand up very well by and by himself at the very end there. Um, you know, Vinny and Joe were really kind of helping me out along those lines. So, um, so I would imagine that, you know, if if it was just me and Vinny and no one else, then probably not going to be able to get 31. Probably. Um, so I would imagine that would probably be more 25. So give or take. Um, So I would imagine that 9,025 per, yeah, that's going to be, uh, you know, 30 minutes for each of those per se. So yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to do Trinity Prime today i think um i think we'll do i think we'll do like one more cryotic run and then i'll switch on over to relic breaks um because i'm probably not going to get the 31 i mean unless unless someone else wants to join us on this then let me know uh welcome back there Vinny. um you know, if anybody wants to get in on some cryotic uh, grind, then, you know, you are more than welcome to join us. Um, let's see. Um, maybe Blackheart. I don't know if Blackheart is he he said that he wanted to kind of ch check out the um um uh, that indie game so i don't you know uh, one he's not online for warframe right at this moment in time and um you know i don't that i don't even know if he's listening to me in chat or not <laughs> to be honest uh let's see yeah he's he's not according to my list of users in chat i don't see him so but that's okay um okay we got brook ready to go um Let's see, let's just do Cryotech and see which, what can be built. Uh, I'm going to kind of ignore all the Warframes, so, okay, so this one requires immunity masses there. Um, 
don't need the Equinox Prime, don't need the VAR Prime, uh, Colstar already mastered, need a lot more field run for Lens, don't need Limbo Prime, um, don't need Mirage, don't need Octavia, Links, I need more Gyromag systems. Cyber is like, what are you doing to us, <laughs> Warframe? Um, but I mean, I'm I'm gonna need to grind for the Crowdtick on that anyway, so. Um, So I mean, just just looking at this, I'm I'm looking at uh, this is this is around three thousand for both of those. Um, that's two thousand five hundred, so five thousand five hundred. Uh, there's another 3,300 there, so that would be five, uh, that would be 8,800 cryotic needed just off of those so far. And then, of course, there's the Cybear, which is, you know, so I would need a total of, you know, 38,800. Critic. at 100 a pop <laughs> so I would need to do roughly 380 extractors to get the amount of cryotic that I need give or take <laughs> at minimum so so I got my work cut out for me in terms of uh, in terms of Crytek. So, um, oh yeah, the the Trinity Prime also needs nine thousand. So that would be uh, thirty eight plus nine. That would be forty seven, forty seven thousand eight hundred. So, yeah, uh, four hundred and seventy one. Or 478 runs extractors. And we just did 31 and 40, 48 minutes or so. Uh, I'm not going to try to calculate out that math. <laughs> I mean, I could. I mean, uh, 31 into 47. Uh, you're you're talking about you know uh, basically doing that like 11 time uh, you know 10 plus change times. So multiply 10 with 45 minutes and. <sighs> <laughs> I'll buy you the side bear for Christmas. No, don't don't bother. <laughs> don't bother. Uh, I'll I'll get there. Well, I mean, for example, you know, I I want to get the rid of the Magistar. So, uh, so, you know, I want to I want to use that at some point as a as a weapon. I mean, I could sell it off, kind of thing, but. Um, uh, I'll go. Uh, I'll be doing the grind on that. It's perfectly fine there, Benny. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. But it's it's still um, and just doing the just doing the amount of calculations required to handle the amount of cryotic. You know, there's just just as a just you know uh, putting that out there for everybody to kind of understand. Um, you know the you know how ridiculous it is to to try to get that amount of cryotic. So, um, you know, 
uh, you're talking basically 400 450 minutes um, potentially you know even more obviously um, or you know 450 minutes minimum to even get anywhere close to what you need to get like the cyber Trinity and so on and so forth with Krautic. So, you know, you're trying, uh, uh, what, what is that? In terms of hours, that's seven hours minimum of constant grinding cryotic. Not even stopping, not even, you know, just, you know, you, you would, you basically would need like a full complement crew of everybody just kind of trying to do the grind to, um, to just, just get that much cryotic just for the, um, just for these builds. Yeah. Um All right, let's let's do this one more time. Let me switch on over to Hydroid. Maybe I can do a little bit more in terms of um um You know, I can I can maybe do a little bit more uh You know, uh, handling of enemies a little bit more, maybe. Um, and then we'll we'll try, and then we'll switch on over to breaking some relics. I mean, do you use something different? Up to you, there, Vinny. Uh, if you feel like you were doing uh, pretty well on taking, well, I mean, the. Um, You know, it's it's a very useful uh, crowd control that you had for, you know, protecting the extractors and and all that. Um, while my um, while my Fletchets were able to take out the enemies fairly um, fairly early on, uh, once those um, once those Eximus guys started popping up more and more, um, I was feeling a lot more, uh, I was having a little bit more difficulty trying to take them out um, as, as we kind of progressed through. So, um, so I was, I was, you know, I was trying to figure out if there was like maybe a better Warframe that I could use to try to handle them a little bit faster. Uh, Mesa wouldn't have been able to help. Um, so, otherwise, I probably would have. Uh, otherwise, I would be able to pick her. Um, you know, they nerfed they nerfed um, Wu Kong so. Um, and while his um, his twin would help in a in a in a sense, um, you know, he's not going to be able to damage them that much anymore. I mean, unless I target them somehow, I'm not quite sure exactly how to go about doing that. But I mean, I could probably survive a little bit longer with with Wu Kong with his healing and armor abilities that he has but i mean sure i could i could survive a little bit longer but that doesn't necessarily translate well in keeping the extractors alive so um so yeah mm.
I'm just trying to think if there's anything that I have that um, has a lot of destructive power other than Mesa. Bonbon's good, but I mean, I was I was dying per, uh, quite a bit at the very be very end there, so um, that was a little rough on me. Xmas are immune to CC frames until you knock their overguard off. Yeah, I know, I know. That's one of the reasons why I'm kind of hesitant on on even Hydroid because um, even the Hydroid is going to have a hard time with those Xmas um, Warframes. Vaubon might be good, or uh, uh, Necros might be good in terms of um, the um, bringing in his his shadows to to try to help out, you know, shadows of the dead uh, to try to you know uh, take out the enemy a little bit more. But those guys don't really do that much damage themselves. Or do they? Are they actually better than the the enemies that I basically resurrect? I mean, it says three uh, three times the multiplier on them, so. Hmm. And one of the nice things about the Shadows of the Dead is that you can, um, you know, you can revive Eximus. So, I'm kind of leaning towards, um, kind of leaning towards him right at this moment in time. Okay, strength is the multiplier. Okay. And I'm assuming efficiency is for the drain and health decay. Now it's for the overall drain. Let's see, duration. Yeah, health to K per second. Okay. I think that's going to be good for the time being. Are you feeling ready there, Vinny? Let me try. Let me try Necros and see how far we can get on that. So.
Yippers. Okay, let's go. We're going to keep it with the open squad. See if anybody wants to join us on this, but... search of lost artifacts and items buried deep below the surface. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. The hunt is on, Tenno. The synthesis scanner is detecting a potential target. Use it. Search for traces of the target. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. that the scanner has picked up a target go to the okay moving on to the next one these guys aren't that difficult right at this moment of time, so... Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. just been rewarded. An extraction is available if you choose. that up please Hold on a second. I want to. I want to see about trying to find this. Uh, that one guy. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. Be right back there, Vinny. That's it. It will be a perfect specimen. Oh, there he is. So you can synthesize it for me. The 
excavator has lost power. Find another cell. An artifact has been located. Proceed to the dig site. This guy's not even moving. Okay. The Grenier used to be builders, but now all they make is war. There we go. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. You doing okay up there, Vinny? Okay, where's Here's the next one? There it is. Scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. Excavation complete. Look what you found. Zone. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. <laughs> All right. Apparently, he didn't want to stick around, which is perfectly fine. I don't think he's able to leave by himself that way. I believe he has to um I think he has to leave the squad. Uh, I believe you'll need to leave the squad. Okay, we should be good. 
So, moving on to the next one. Actually, let me let me go ahead and handle the stream raiders real quick while my uh, minions protect me. I'll be let's let's handle this real quickly now before things get a little too messed up. Um, okay, I see that someone has the high ground, so let's go ahead and set that up and let's go. If we can avoid alerting them, this might be easier. I uh, keep my clones active while I try to take out these enemies. And awesome! There we go. We got it! Yay! Okay, so Akio, thank you for joining me on that. You get the rewards. Thank you for joining me there. Uh, now let's see, uh, which way was it that was like the best one out of it all? Uh, it was at seven. Yeah, I think this, I think this was the way. So I'm going to move on to the hard map here. Go ahead and set up a tank right over here. Now, if anybody wants to throw some units down, it looks like we got enemies all over the map, so. Um, you know, looks like we got quite a number of them actually all over the map so looking for additional help here folks i could use all the uh, uh could use all the help that i can get fighting these guys now it looks like all of them are pretty much level one so i don't think i'm gonna have any trouble killing them per se but they have the potential of giving me doing a lot of damage to me too so I don't know if I'm going to be able to take on all of them, so I'm looking for anybody to help me out, and as always, thank you. So, alright, let me switch it on back to Warframe here. Uh, Vinny was kind enough to kind of help me protect myself a little bit there, but um, let's move on to... Uh, the excavator has lost the excavator C. Maybe we can drop off a little bit of uh, power as we uh, as we move on to um, we'll move on to. Oh, okay. Oh, Vinny already took care of that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to the next extractor because I mean we're still we're still in a spot where you know these these aren't. Um, really causing us any kind of additional problems right now. So. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the deep oh, Okay, that's, that's not. Your hard work has just been rewarded. Mm. Grab that. Okay, we got ourselves some Eximus coming in. Recoil. 
Or where is it? Okay. Okay, looks like Vinny is pretty much taking care of, uh... Vinny's got that. We're good there. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, Vinny's... Vinny's got that right at this moment of time. At least for now. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on the... Um, uh, the shields and the light to see if there's... Um. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protect it from enemy fire. A scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. You'd think they'd clone something a little less ugly. Right, where is it? Excavation is complete. Look what you found. These guys are getting a little bit tougher. Now, granted, you know, as as I kill them off, I can, you know, I I can basically get them on my side, which kind of helps in in protecting them a little bit more, but. Let's go ahead and throw down a uh, specter as well. Okay, that's taken care of. Moving on to the next one. Grab that. Okay. 
Crusader deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. An artifact has been located. Right. Proceed to the dig site. There we go. Just uncovered. Okay. Next. <laughs> Dig complete. Your hard work has just been rewarded. Okay. I kind, of, uh, kind of wish that, you know, much like my Spectre, that, uh, that the Shadows would kind of join me, and, you know, join along with me as well. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. The Grenier have no honor. Oh, Nox. Go away, Nox.
Good there. Excavation complete. Look what we found. Okay. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit while it extracts the artifact. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. Uh oh. Triggered, uh. Triggered F. The excavator has run out so, of did you watch the dev stream yesterday? Seven. Nope. Don't really watch the dev streams all that much because. Um, I want to make sure that, you know, I want to kind of go in blind on some of the things that they present, so. I mean, I, I know that it's uh, helpful in certain regards to, like, um, um, you know, in that... Uh, you're able to kind of see, like, any, like, you know, if, if they plan on doing, it, like, any kind of, um, nerf or, uh, change to any of the Warframes. I mean, that's, that's obviously very helpful, but, um, you know. Uh, if they talk about like a new storyline or something like that, I don't necessarily want to be necessarily spoiled about it. So, Look what we just uncovered. new skins? No problem. Feel free to talk about new skins all you want. I, you know, it that really doesn't matter all that much to me. So. But if it starts going in along the lines of like, you know, uh, like new stories that they're coming out with or new missions, um, then hold off on, on those kind of talks, you know. Ready to go. Keep it powered and protect it from enemy fire. Hmm. I didn't really see a lot of um There we go. Yeah. Go. The dev stream that showed off for new. Place secondary skins that no joke give you a modern cold M nineteen eleven Smith and Wesson revolver shot off shotgun and Uzi as skins for sidearms. They look exactly like modern ones. There's an old timey themed in the universe. Hmm, okay. Complete. 
Okay, let's see. Where? Let's try going this way first. Oh, ah. Oh wait, I don't have any... I don't have any cores with me right at the moment. Or any power supplies. There we go, power cells. There we go. Grab them. There we go. Community's going bonkers with a new model they're showing off with the new frame. People spamming Dami Mommy and the dev team chat while showing off the WIP model. Uh huh, okay. What is going on with. Had an Xmas kind of gunning for me right at the moment there. <laughs> There we go on that one. We fought with honor. There we go. Grab this. Is ready to go. Community is going, going by. Yeah, uh, sometimes forget how thirsty the Warframe community can be. Um, you know, uh, let's face it, you know, uh, when you have a lot of people that are, like, you know, into a lot of games, you know, just, you know, if you're, if you're playing, like, games, like, all the time and not really going out all that much then yeah you're gonna be quite thirsty um you know because you're you're you know not only are you trying to search for some kind of um 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 uh, you know you're trying to search for some kind of um all right that's interesting um There we go. Um, but I mean, you know, uh, just uh, any kind of companionship as well, you know, tends to get put on sideline as well. So I didn't know that we were, you need a power here. Okay, uh, that was it. That was good. All right. Um, so. You know, I, you know, I'll, I'll say that, you, you know, that my, uh, I mean, unless I want to go out to like the local clubs or something like that to try to find anyone to really connect with, which, <laughs> yeah, probably not. Um, uh, uh, I 
you know, I'd, I'd prefer someone that, you know, is into, you know, gaming and the like. But, I mean, let's let's face it, you know, there isn't really any, that, you know, you don't really have, like, a game that does, like, um, I mean, unless, unless you do, like, um, oh, I accidentally was seeing this one. All right. Well, we'll just try to power this up as much as we can. Zaku Deluxe makes him look like a jester. Zaku Deluxe? Is that what they're naming him? They're not going with Zaku Prime? He's the next deluxe skin. Oh, okay, I gotcha. did pretty well. Oh, ow, 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 ooh, ow, wow, okay. You guys really uh, teamed up on me on that one. Okay, I think this is going to be the last one there, Vinny. I think these guys are getting a little bit harder for me to kind of handle. Um, so... No, I'm I'm good on that there, Mr. Stab. I'll wait I'll wait till they um, announce it in game. So because it might it might hint at um, like you know what what kind of Warframe it might be. Um, you know, so, and it it could it could go along the lines of, uh, um, it, it might kind of give away some of its um, um, damn these. These Eximus guys are are ruthless. There we go. Oof. Ran into the excavator and and basically got hit with a bomb. <laughs> Grendel Void Shell skin looks nice. Wish it wasn't an art phase. Yeah. Right. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, head on out after this, there, Vinny. 
Alright, let's let's get out of here. go and we are out of there all right i'm dipping to relax and read a book sounds good there mr stab you have yourself a good night Ugh. all right so out of all that we're able to get okay well can I get back into the game here? Okay, there we go. Um, you know, uh, 2200 Cryotic. So, so there's that. Ordis is pleased to see you. Oh yeah. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and switch on over to breaking open some relics right at this moment. So. Uh, invite me for a trade. I have something for you. Okay, Devinny, one second. Let me go ahead and um, switch on over to Stream Raiders here real quick. And we shall battle. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me go ahead and kind of throw... the killing field right there we'll see if everybody kind of goes towards the right to kind of fight all these guys off and then maybe by the time we start moving back to left all these guys will be in range maybe i don't know we'll see but let's go ahead and start the battle and let's go uh Thank you, Asio, uh, Akio and Farmer for joining me on this match. I appreciate it. Wow, they really came rushing into the killing field, didn't they? Sounds good to me. And Farmer with the lead on the amount of kills. Congratulations on that. Hopefully, no, they, they don't give me two rewards um but uh farmer you're gonna go ahead and get those these uh scrolls thank you for your contribution uh thank you accio as well i appreciate you guys being here and joining me for this we're gonna do one more mission on this so um let's see we want to go down this time so Okay, so this is going to be the last battle for tonight on uh, concerning stream raiders. Um, let's see. Enemies will be revealed over time. Okay, well, I'm just going to stick myself right smack dab in the center then. So, oh wait, there's there's one more. Ooh, I I might. Um. You know, I might do one of these during the Phasmophobia later tonight. Um, but obviously, I, I can't go any any longer than that. So, I'm going to have I have to close this down by 6. six so, okay. Um, now that that's taken care of, everybody can start throwing in your units. Oh, 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 almost forgot, almost forgot. Um... I, it doesn't really matter where you guys set yourself out, you know, they're going to be randomly placed, so you're welcome to put them anywhere. Um, and as always, thank you for helping out. Um, hopefully we'll be getting, like, rewards for everybody that participates. It'd be nice, but it doesn't always happen that way, so... 
All right. Uh, so there we go. So thank you for that. We'll go back into Warframe here. Um, okay, let me... You want me to invite you, so let me go down to the dojo. Okay, there we go. I'll go ahead and invite you now there, Vinny. There we go. I'm going to kind of let you initiate the trade because I'm not quite sure exactly um, what's going on here. So, I mean, you don't need to give me anything there, Vinny. You've, you've, <laughs> you typically give me enough. So, you know, the fact that you were able to help me out with the hammer was was amazing in my particular opinion. So. I guess repair. In void mode, heal warframes within 30 meters by 25% health per second. Uh huh. Okay. Actually, no, I don't have that one yet, right? It would it would show if I actually had one available already. I th hmm. no, I think I think this one was something that I've been kind of trying to look for because I have the Corinth, but I you know obviously you know it's. Seeing that it's an awesome shotgun, it's it's one that a lot of people kind of go for already. Are you sure you don't need it, there, Vinny? I know that you don't know, normally use the Corinth all that much, but... Or at least I haven't seen you use the Corinth. Okay. Uh, okay, question. Is there anything that you need? Are you looking for anything in particular on your end that uh, you might need? Or shall I just go with the Nama Drum? Nama Drum, okay. Okay. Thank you very much there, Vinny. I appreciate it. I definitely need, do need to add that to my uh, Corinth, that's for sure, and, and the mods. Let's see, let's go ahead and leave the dojo. Because just the sheer amount of damage that, you know, that mod can is going to help out immensely on the amount of um, on that. Now let's see. Uh, what is a good one to kind of take off though? Okay. 18 is a lot. 18 cost. Um, 
see critical damage, critical chance, and damage. I might need to format it again. For this is how angry. Hmm. Mm. I may require maintenance after all. Not as much punch through and reloads a little bit slower, but I don't think that I really needed that overall. I mean, I'm probably going to be missing the punch through more than I will the reload, but I mean, the amount of damage that this thing is going to do is going to be uh, pretty vicious. I mean, look, look at that overall damage push there. 16,000 just just with this alone so you know compare that to you know magnetic there and cold there so <laughs> Radial attack. <laughs> Not that I really use the radial attack all that much, but still. Let's see. Uh, 3,000 there. Radial damage. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, you know, once again, while I do, uh, you know, to be honest, I'm not quite sure uh, if if punch through was really that useful. I mean, I know that the um, you know the idea is that when you fire a shot, and the idea is that it not only does it go you know punch through you know hits the you know your first target, but it you know, has the potential of hitting like the target beyond it as well. So, um, you know, the fact that I had 1.2 meant that, you know, I can, you know, not only go through the first enemy, but, you know, uh, I, I think can potentially go through the second as well. So, um, now I could you know what I could do is maybe um I mean right now I already have like toxic barrage you know with the toxin right at this moment in time. I could try to do like another formula on it and maybe um hmm, not sure. Um I should probably leave room for the cold. Um, and maybe even tinted shell. Hmm. Okay, that's an that's an interesting one right there. 
increase in fire rate and a decrease in spread. Hmm, that might mean that it's it has instead of like the um, buckshot, maybe it's more of a, like a slug. So it's like really concentrated in one area a little bit more, and therefore, you know, I'm I'm potentially putting a lot of the shots into a single target, which might actually be useful. Hmm. Um. Don't forget the arcane. I used it a few times to heal you because it works on the whole team if they're close enough. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I mean, there's a lot of Madurai. Um, and, and quite a bit of it's like, you know, cold, blaze. You know, you had the Seeking Fury there. Electricity. So, I mean, having a Madurai one might be useful as well. Um. Prime charge shell. I really do need to kind of maximize this one there. That's that's going to take quite a bit to build up. I don't really use it that often, so I really wish I had like another row of mods <laughs> because there's so many things that I want to add to my shotgun for for more damage and more potential out of it all. But I can't. It's like there's, there's so many good choices out there that I want to add additional ones into. But it, ah. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Um. Yeah, I'm probably going to need to do, uh, I'm probably going to need to form this anyway, because, um, I mean, I'm not even using the full prime point blank or the prime ravage either, which I should probably do, to be honest. I should probably maximize those. Um... Oh, I need to I need to order some food. Uh one second there, folks. Um let's see. I want, we'll just go with this one. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, apparently, you're having some issues with that. One second while I take care of this real quick, there, folks. I wanna make it. Uh, I wanna. Um, I want to order some food, bef you know, so that it's on its way. So, you know, uh, before I start my phasmophobia later on tonight, um, you know, uh, you know, I'll, you know, I'll be in a full stomach. <laughs> so. Okay. 
Okay, there's that. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, there we go. Food is ordered. All right. I might be munching like during the stream, so you know, don't don't be too mad at me for eating during the stream, or at least I hope not. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh, let me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do something that is spoilery. So if anybody hasn't gone past a particular quest, you know, concerning operators, now's the time to um, look away because, yeah. Uh, so, you know, five, four, three, two, one, going in. Okay. Now, uh, arcane. Nice repair. The fact that you have this already maxed out too, there, Vinny. <laughs> uh, I only got this one as well, but you know, I uh, don't have that many more. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of, uh, you know, arcanes for the operator right at this point. So, uh, let's see, how am I doing in focus right at this moment in time? Okay, I have quite a bit. Um, hmm. Oh, I still need to do a lot more focus for this one to get to the to the next stage okay well, we're just gonna have to wait on that for the time being um yeah i mean the most that i can really do is this you know energy pickup but i don't really need that overall um So, I'm going to hold off on that for now. I didn't mean to... Um, okay, we're just going to hold off on that. I could increase the distance. But I'd rather I'd rather do the overall movement speed, to be honest. So let me let me go back and activate that again. Uh, I can unlock that. Can unlock that. Um, let's see. Let's see, increase affinity radius by 15 meters. Hmm. Um. Oh, here we go. Revives are instantaneous. So that's that's obviously a nice one to have. And obviously, I'm just a little bit shy. Um, from, from unlocking anything else, like, say, the, um, uh, Operator Health and Armor. Um, not that I really hop out of and, and use my Operator all that much, but, I mean, you know, extra Health and Armor is useful, so. Alright, there we go.
Okay. Uh, so I'm done with that. So, you know, everybody can kind of open their eyes if you are kind of wondering. Um, it was a spare. I've been saving if someone needed. I try to make spares if I have stuff for them. Gotcha. Oh, thank you there, Vinny. I appreciate it. Um, okay. Let's see. Is there any... I mean, I can't really do a whole lot of relic breaks right at this moment in time. I, I, um, but, I mean, this capture is, is good. Um, I think I'd rather do the Neptune. Um... Unko's good too. Actually, Unko could potentially give me some, like an additional relic too. So this might actually be a good one to have. Um, but I don't really have a whole lot of axes to spare. Don't have a lot of, uh, you know, extra axes here. Just an A7 here. Which, uh, I was planning on getting the Ash Prime systems anyway, so probably don't want to do that right at this point. Uh, let's see, V9, still need the Venka Prime Gauntlet, so want to hold off on that. Let's see. And this was the one for the Torpedo Prime handle, which I just got, so... I don't think there's really anything here that I'm absolutely in need of right at this point, so... Um... Let's see, it's just the Neo and uh, Neo ones that are available now. Um, let's see, number owned. Oh yeah, I got I got plenty. Um, refinement. I mean, I got these available. I think I've been trying to get the, the Stryza Prime Blade, so... Okay, we're going to do one more. We're going to do that, that capture mission there, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch on over to Mesa. Uh, we're going to get the Corinth here. Let me make sure that my mods are still there. It is awesome. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and set up our Chunchumaru. There we go. And Vinny, do, would you like to join me on this Neo Axie break? Uh, it's probably going to be the only one that I do, so. Um, let's see. I want to do. Probably the Neptune one here. Because Europa is just irritating. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to join me for... Um, for the Neptune Neo capture? Sure? Okay. Let me go ahead and add you in. Anybody else would like to join? Uh, this is going to be the last, um, uh, you know, granted I wasn't able to do a whole lot of, I mean, this is going to be my only uh, relic break. But after the Stream Raiders is done, then I'm going to have to shut on down so that I can get some food in me um, before the... Um, Phasmophobia in an hour. So, um, so if anybody wants to see me 
you know, get hit with some jump scares and come back in an hour for the Phasmophobia stream. Um, now, uh, if you're going to be, like, watching me, or if you want someone that is going to be, like, you know, screaming their head off, probably not going to happen. I'm, I'm not that vocal. Um, but I will jump if if the jump scare is like right there so <laughs> but i mean just the atmosphere of phasmophobia is going to be enough for me to go Ooh, a little bit <laughs> black heart is on interesting okay uh wanna jump into a uh, Neo Relic Capture Break before uh, I take a break for dinner slash as as no tonight. Okay. He might be in a mission already. Let me let me check here real quick. Uh, let's see, clan. Um, okay, it doesn't look like it. He's normally whenever you go to that. Um... You can see if they have like jumped into any of the other, um, you know, if they jumped into a mission or something like that. So, Hmm. I'm not hearing anything from him right at this moment in time. So uh, I, I don't want to wait for that much longer here. So we're just going to go ahead and go. Uh, we want Neptune. Uh, we are going to go ahead and select this one. There we go. Second here. All right, whatever you want to use there, Vinny. Up to you. Okay, battle is ready to begin. Three units were placed on the battlefield. Okay. I'm going to switch on over to there real quick. And... Killing fields. Let's go. Capture mission. You must find, capture, and extract our target. There are void fissures in the area. Use these to crack open a relic. You okay. Congratulations, everybody, on that. Keep moving. None of the scanners. Akio, thank you for joining me on that. There's your rewards. And that is going to be it for now, there, folks. Um, we're gonna we're gonna hold off on doing that. You know, I I want to probably do one more mission on this on Stream Raiders, but but for the time being, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, 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 probably just gonna go ahead and just finish off this one real quick. 
and then you um, them quickly before they escape. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is done here, Tenno. Got the 10 that I needed. Time to go. Finish your mission to find out what's inside. For that security camera. There we go. Hmm. Yeah. Not much else going on, so I'll just go ahead and grab the Haro Prime. Oh, hey. I'm I'm apparently being hit with the uh <laughs> He's trying to go after me. Oh no. Too late. Too slow. Okay, uh, that's going to be it. Um, I'm going to have to close on down for the night. Um, but as always, all these streams, all these videos are eventually uploaded to my YouTube channel. So feel free to check that out if you'd like. Got a link down below on my Twitch about page for that. I also have links to my Discord, my Patreon, and my Twitter account down below on my Twitch about page, as well as in the description of my YouTube videos. So feel free to check those out if you like. Um, I have a clan if anybody's interested in joining on that you're welcome to um, I still got spots open um, plus there's there's a couple of people that uh, haven't been um, uh, uh, back. Uh, uh, wait. Okay, um, so this is available if anybody would like. Uh, I also have a stream team available, um, you know, down below on um, my Twitch belt page, uh, as well as in the description of my current YouTube videos, uh, talking about, um, you know, the stream team, talking about how... Uh, you know, there's, uh, it's an application link. There's a Google document that explains everything about the team, uh, how it's meant to try to uh, help everybody on the team, whether you're a streamer or not. Everybody, anybody's welcome. Um, the only thing that we don't want are people that are actively doing hate raids or, um, you know, misogynistic or racist or anything along those lines if i find anything uh, if i find any evidence of that you know from anybody then it's immediate drop i don't want anybody on the team that is uh bringing people down not lifting you know i want people lifting people up not bringing them down so um that's the that's the stream team check it out uh, if you have any questions, feel free to go to my Discord and ask, ask me there if you want. Um, but that's it. Uh, that's where we're going to go ahead and end Warframe for tonight. Like I said, uh, Phasmophobia is coming up in 50 minutes as soon as I'm, you know, after I get done with dinner and relax a little bit. You know, make sure that I prepare my uh, myself mentally for the scares that I'm going to be having later on tonight. Now, uh, bear in mind, it's not a first time playthrough. Okay, I do know how to play, so it's not it's not like a um, it's it's not going to be like oh my gosh, you know, are you playing it for the very first time? No, I have played it a little bit 
already before well, a little bit <laughs> um i mean i've played it quite a bit you know i think i'm like level 17 so i mean it's not a lot but it's it's okay um you know i've, I've seen people that are like in the 700s or something like that so <laughs> needless to say i am i'm i'm still very low um but um uh, it's not exactly my first time either. Um, so, um, so if you're looking for like a first time playthrough, then sorry, I can't, can't provide that. Um, plus I've seen other players, uh, other people have played it as well. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, but that's where we're going to go ahead and close on out for the night. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. I uh, want to thank everybody that stopped on by today. Uh, Vinny. Um, let's see. We had uh, Mr. Stab step, stopped on by. We had Jedi stop on by. Uh, we had Joe Checkinhead stopping on by. Um, and of course, Blackheart Games. Let's see anyone else? Nope, that was it. Um, okay, um, before I close on out, though, I want to do some shout outs here. Shout out to Jedi and to Blackheart. So, um, feel free to go check out their channels, give them a follow, give them, give them a viewing. Um, Blackheart Games. There we go. So go ahead and check out their channels. Um, you know, show them some support. And that's where we're going to go ahead and end it there, folks. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully I'll catch you next time. But until then, take care. Have a good night. Um, be healthy, Stay healthy. Stay safe. And I'll hopefully catch you guys in the next 50 minutes. So I'll see you then. Bye for now.